Isso. Are you all right, man? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I was just working on my... Uh... Oh, yeah, triceratops. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's connected to your alborus. <laughs> and it comes down to your foramaticus. <laughs> yeah, and uh, just working on the chest. Yeah, just in case, just in case. <laughs> And uh, yeah, right now I'm just working on the on the back. Okay. Back muscles. <coughs> oh sure, sure. <coughs> Excuse us, mate. No, sorry. Don't mean to interrupt your 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 sissy. Oh yeah. Just say I notice your technique is all wrong. Oh okay. Yeah. Uh, just a few tips yeah. to help you, you know, yeah. because you don't look like you come here often. <laughs> Make sure you look straight up, 20 degree angle. Oh yeah. That way it will keep your back as straight as a curve. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so when you bring it up, yeah. you inhale, yeah. and when you put it down, you outhale. <laughs> yeah. And just oh. remember to blow it out. So at the top, just blow it out. Yeah, blow it out. Yeah. <laughs> Through the front, not the back. <laughs> okay. So I'll just do three more of these, eh? Yeah, okay. Mm. Two, three, we can do five. Uh, three, three will oh, be good. Three, yeah, okay, if you can't handle it. Yeah. <coughs> that's it. Two more, two more. Second, that's it, that's it. Last one, last one. That's it, that's it, that's it. Squeeze it, squeeze it, that's it. Put it up, put it up, put it up. Ah, oh, oh, that's the oh, one. Man. Oh. You know, you shouldn't use the heavy one. I, you leave it for us big cars, you know? I, uh, this is how you young people get all into it. Yeah. Are you all right then, mate? Ian, it's an old war injury. Oh, yeah. You sure? Yeah. I'll, I'll put that back up there. Oh, Give no, no, it's all right. I've got yeah. it. Yeah, okay, just put it over there. Oh, mate, who's been lifting this? Oh, just me. Hey? Yeah. Oh, come on, mate. I've never seen anyone lift this much, bro. Yeah, no, nah, me neither. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, bro, I'd love to see somebody lift that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't mean to put you off, mate. I am trying to put this off my... Uh, yeah, oh, man, yeah. I've got to see yeah. this, bro. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I've got to see this, bro. Jesus! <laughs> You wanna you wanna spot? Oh no, 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 don't need those things. Eh. No, we don't do a sp spot is a sign of weakness. Yeah. Don't bring your thing into my thing, eh? <laughs> 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 
I usually lift it up on the count of three. Do you want me to count you in? Oh, I can count to four. <laughs> One, two, Sorry, I forgot to put the powder on. <laughs> oh, so you uh, you've been here long? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and I always come uh, early in the morning, you know. Usually get here before the dawn is cracked, you know. I just help myself, you know, everyone here knows me, you know, I just come in, you know, through that window, you know. <laughs> I usually come in, a bit of warm up, warm up, you know, start off with about half an hour of blind matrix. After that, I do about 20 minutes of uh, aerodynamic. <laughs> and then uh, the rest of the day, you know, I just do, a, you know, start, that's when I start my waiting, do my oh, weights. Oh, yeah, you know? so you just come in here and do the weights? Uh, no, no, I just wait around and see what's happening. <laughs> hey. But I didn't want to, uh, you know, interrupt, you know, introduce myself because I know you probably uh, recognize me. Yeah, a lot of people here has come for me for advice. And, but you probably seen me on, I've uh, been on magazine covers, you know. Oh, yeah. Around, yeah what, 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 what magazines have you been on? Uh, I've been on uh, New Zealand Men's Health magazine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah. Uh, I was also on uh, Flex Bodybuilding magazine. Nah, yeah, not seen and, that one. Oh, okay, you probably don't, don't, don't go there. You know. <laughs> and uh, more recently, the last uh, about ten years ago, uh, I was on the uh, cover of uh, GQ, GQ magazine. GQ. Yeah, GQ, GQ. You were on GQ. Yeah, GQ. GQ. Whoa, what issue? What issue? I'm Samoan. <laughs> Why? What is you? <laughs> I'm uh, Tongan. Ah, oh. <laughs> Kirana. <laughs> Maloy Lele. Oh, no, face. I already had lunch, thanks, man. <laughs> You know, a lot of people come up, come, come up to me, they always ask me, you know, advice about, you know, things. You know. you know, I think it's just because of my overdeveloped muscles, you know. <laughs> you know, my body is uh, it's quite deceiving, you know, my body shape. Some people look at me and they think, you know, oh man, he's fat. <laughs> but it's not until you come and you punch me as hard as you can, that's when you walk away and you think to yourself, oh man, you know what, he's fat. <laughs> Oh, sorry, mate. I, I've, got, I've got my car in the car park. It's going to run out of time soon, oh. so I'm just going to finish off with a bit of fun. Okay. Just right. I forgot to mention, uh, I'm a master in uh, shadow boxing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, it was really hard for me in my training the first two years. How come? Because I was doing it in the dark. <laughs> but after that, I began, you know, climbing up the ranks and, you know, I gave myself a, a trophy. And Look, I don't want to, uh, I haven't told anyone this uh, story before, because I just make it up now. <laughs> but not many people are familiar with my background. My background is not in weight or, you know, exercise, you know. My background is actually in a mixed martial art. Ooh. 
Before I was born, I was adopted. <laughs> and they took me to a small village in China. <laughs> the village is called Su Dei. <laughs> and what happened was while I was there, I spent the first 16 years of my life over there, all the way up till I was about 10. But while I was living amongst the Sudayi people, I learned the Sudayi culture, their customs, their language. And the most important one, I was taught the ancient Kung Fu technique of Uta Um Yang Fangti. <laughs> As I was getting older, I started to climb up the ladders in, uh, in Kung Fu. I became the top student. We have a big prize giving over there. All of us got a black belt. Well, my black belt only came up to here, right? <laughs> I was the first one to be a black tie. <laughs> so I got a black tie in Kung Fu, black tie in Jiu-Jitsu, black tie in uh, these other things I can't remember. <laughs> and a black tie for when I go to church on Sunday. <laughs> when I got to the top, my sensei, his name's Sensei Shi. <laughs> sensei Shi said I have to come back to the Western world to teach the people about peace and harmony. So I come back. When I arrived back in New Zealand, I went to college. My first day at college, I was bullied. A girl pushed me. <laughs> I was walking through a gate. Then a girl pushed me. I said, hey, girl, don't do it again, eh? Don't make me unleash the dragon. <laughs> she didn't know I didn't have a dragon. Then the two boys pushed me. And here, I don't lose from here. And another guy pushed me from behind. I thought he pushed you from behind. I was facing the wrong way. <laughs> then one guy really pushed my body. And I had to look for it. Because that was the only pattern keeping my uniform together. <laughs> That's when I said to him, hey, shh, you pushed the wrong pattern. <laughs> when these guys were being really cruel to me and pulling me, that's when I felt it was time for me to teach him a lesson. That's when I do my Uta Um Yang Fang Pei. <laughs> now this ancient Kung Fu technique, it's about being one with the earth, one with the environment. When I learned how to do Uta Um Yang Fang Be, I could see the grass. I could touch the trees. I could feel the wind. I could smell the flowers. <laughs> Uta Um Yang Fang Be has only four moves. It's like this. Do you know what this is? No, what's, what's that? I was making a point. All of a sudden, they run away because they thought I was having a fit. <laughs> but then I receive a text on my fax machine. <laughs> Hello? It was Sensei Shi. I said, what do you want? He said, you want me to come back? Come back to Surahi. 
I said, I'm coming. I'm going to fly over. Put the phone down. <laughs> That's how I sit on the plane. <laughs> when I arrived in Sudai, I said to Sensei She, Sensei She, Sensei to me, we need to look for new sensei. I said, okay, give it to me. He said, no, we have a special type of protocols. I said, okay. Let's do the protocol. <laughs> he said, I have to fight against my brother. His name is Sione. <laughs> my tongue and brother. We were raised together in different countries. <laughs> Since they said to me, you two, I need you to spar. So we had a spar. No electricity, but the hips of bubbles. <laughs> then we went inside the ring. I said, Johnny, good luck, man. Johnny said to me, now, good luck to you. I said, okay, man. I had to be very, 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 very. Because Sione, he was the master of kicks. He had very quick hands. <laughs> we was talking around, well, he was talking around the ring. And then he tried to get me with a roundhouse kick. I blocked it with my roundhouse block. <laughs> See! His kick just came around and boom! I caught him off guard. <laughs> Siona didn't know I was going to block his kick with my face. <laughs> when Siona's kick was coming towards me, I was like, yeah! <laughs> this is what I've been training for, man! As soon as I blocked it, by accident, <laughs> he exposed his knee. That's when I thought, I'm going to get him. That's when I did what we call the Indu Shushan which is the Uta Um Yang Fang Pei of cut off knee. Only four moves one, two, three, four, of seven, five, six, seven. <laughs> Then his knee fell down, boom! Sonny said to me, hi, man, what's happening? <laughs> I said, Sonny, go see the doctor. <laughs> Two hours later, he come back. He said, oh, I'm okay, man. <laughs> I said, what are you holding in your hand? He said, ah, oh, the doctor said, this is the cure. I said, what is it? He said, two airplane tickets to go to Africa. <laughs> I said, how is that going to cure your knee? He said, if I go to Africa, that is where the knee grows. 